Hey everyone, I'm out here today getting ready to do some digging. I'm at Digging in Virginia 28. I've got the Garrett ATX with me. That's what I'll be using this hunt. Uh, it's an extreme pulse induction machine. I have it set up with sensitivity at 11, discriminations at 0, and thresholds around 8. So we're going to see what we can find with this thing and hopefully we can get some good relics. I think it's going to be a great day of digging. Let's get to it. I've been out here about half an hour to hour now probably and this is the first good target that I've found and here it is. It looks like it's going to be a button. Yep, the eagle button. I think it's just a general service. I'll have to clean it up more in a minute. Man, that thing wasn't even two inches deep. Right in the plug. Unreal. Sorry for all the static. I got my walkie-talkie going and it's making a lot of noise, but that's my first great find of the day. So, hopefully we can find some more. Let's go get them. Well, it's been about 30 minutes since the last target I dug. I just found a nice bullet, pistol bullet. That's pretty cool. It showed up like a high-low. Awesome. I don't know if you can hear that. But gives a high low signal. And when you push iron check it, it doesn't grunt. So that's how I knew it was gonna be non ferrous target. Steve There's just, a bullet here. Not a bullet? Yeah, it was a deep signal, it's kinda of faint. It looks like it's melted, or it's almost got a shape to it, but it is melted, I think. Looks like it's melted. That's awesome. Yeah, that's look at that yeah, hole. Pretty deep, more than a foot deep. Yeah. Nice faint signal, but there's a bunch of bullets out here in this cornfield. ATX can get through the oh. dirt. I'm breaking a sweat already, but starting to pile them up one by one. All right. Hey, you're doing great, Steve. Yeah. All it's right. early yet. Just found me a nice fired bullet. Looks like a 69. It's been fired for sure. It's all right. Also dug a Tom back button and a 58 caliber fired three ringer since last time. So I'm getting in a good area. Well, this is unreal. I dug almost a foot deep and I found a pop tab. I don't know how they get that deep. It is crazy. I thought it was going to be a button for sure. Oh well. That's just reality. Have me a really nice round ball down in the hole right there actually. That's awesome. I'll take it. Also found a button back and another pistol bullet. Anyway, I thought I'd come up and just show you what I've got so far. Those are the bullets from earlier today. Some Steve's Here. finds. That's cool. So you can see where the fuse would have went yeah, exactly. right there. And wow. canister shot. That was about 18 inches deep. Just screaming loud hit. And ATX. Not, not too far from that. ATX got a scabbard tip. A bayonet. Yep. Yeah, nice uh, brass piece there. That'll clean up pretty nice. Looks like you might have a Ringtail sharps right there. Ringtail, got a musket ball. ball, musket ball, some other horseshoe, and some bigger Stuff. pieces. I don't know if those came off artillery or not. Hard to tell, but those certainly look like they did. So uh, that's cool. I mean, that was deep. And, uh, bayonet tip up deep. You're tearing it up. The is doing pretty good. Oh, I just got a button down in here. Check it out. I don't know if you could see that. It's right down in the bottom of the hole. That's a button right there. Let's get it out. My shovel. Yep, just a just another button. I actually dug one about two feet from here. Ooh, this one might be something good. No, it's like just an eagle. It's hard to tell. I have to clean it up. Hey, I'll take it. It's day two of digging in Virginia 28. Out here on the hilltop. So far, I found a button back and some camp lead, and I'm hoping we'll find some better relics today. I found about four bullets yesterday, a uh, couple button backs, three complete buttons, a pocket knife handle, and some other odds and ends. Really good signal. Hi, Lo. I'm gonna pinpoint it real quick. I would do iron check, but in this ground, you shouldn't rely 
on iron check, you should dig it anyway, even if it grunts, because I've had bullets uh, grunt on me. It's hard to dig with this strap I got hooked on this ATX. Alright, let's see what it is. A little tiny, tiny piece of iron. That's the reality. Gives a good signal. On to the next hole. Alright guys, I'm out here today. It's day 3 of DIV. I just dug a nice Indian head penny. Not sure of the year yet. It's down about 5 inches. Give a killer signal. Unreal. It was a pretty slow day yesterday and today I'm, I'm racking up on stuff so I think I'm going to find some great stuff today. Let's keep digging. Well, it's about four hours later. Here's the update of my finds. Got that Indian head penny earlier this morning. I'm not sure of the year. I found a couple pistol bullets. This one looks fired here. And I may have found a coin. I'm not sure if this is a coin or not. It could just be a piece of copper. But I think it's an Indian head that has been flattened out and they punched a hole through it. That's what it looks like. I'm not sure. I'll have to clean it up some more. It does have like a little bit of writing on it. And maybe a design. It's really cool. I also found this little button. It's not long ago. A civilian button. Well, it's been a great day so far. and Got a little musket ball and three or four shell frags in this New York button. Just the front portion of it. So, had a great day today. It's about 3 o'clock in the evening and I've got a couple more hours left till the hunt's over. So, I'm going to give it another try. See if we can find some more relics. Here's all the stuff I found this weekend. Had a pretty good hunt. On a bunch of bullets. I uh, got two nice drop through ringers. Some pistol bullets. A good variety of them. Percussion cap. That's part to a pocket knife handle. I do have a broken ring. Just brass. I don't think there's anything on it. Um, fired three ringer. Fired 69 caliber one. Friction primer. Bucky balls. Miscellaneous brass. That's off of a J hook there. The little disc off the end of a J hook. Got a nice tomback button. A civilian button with a design on it. Button backs. New York button. Just the front of it though. Didn't find the back. And I found this here. I think it's a coin. That's what it looks like. It looks like a coin with a hole punched through it. And maybe it's been flattened out with a hammer. Possibly an Indian head penny. I don't know. I couldn't get any details off of it. It's just so corroded. And here's the Indian head I found. It's from 1862. So that's alright. Good year. Um, got a couple eagle buttons. Just general service. Eagle buttons, three of those, more button backs, broken thimble, all kinds of camp lead. I was hunting a the camp, there was just camp lead everywhere. I was finding it pretty deep too. Uh, there's part to a pocket knife. I actually found another one, a broken one in my bag. Got some shell frags. This probably goes off a shinkle shell, what it looks like. Exploded. It's pretty cool. Here's some more over here. Got a little canister shot. Neat little chain thing. I figured I'd keep that. You don't see them like that much anymore. I've never never found one that looked like that, so that's pretty cool. I got part to a, a knife there and a big old nail thing looks like. So hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Good luck and happy hunting.